In contrast to the unstructured testing approaches are the methodical testing approaches, which we'll call black box and white box testing. Black box testing involves using the requirements to guide test design and exercising all the code functions as based on the requirements and functionality of the system. It's called black box because you're not supposed to look at what's inside the software. You're supposed to just know what the functionality is and the inside of what's inside the software is a mystery, in other words, a black box. In comparison, white box testing starts with the source code and works backwards saying, I see the structure of the code. Let me make sure that my tests are designed in order to exercise all the code. And typically the objective is to hit all the paths through the code. So it's called white box, or some people call it clear box because you can see inside, but the preferred terminology is white box testing. In order to get thorough coverage, you need both black box and white box testing. Black box testing can miss implementation corner cases. So if you have just a functionality test, there might be some special value that you didn't know was special that causes the code to crash. And with black box testing, it's really hard to know what that is. In contrast, white box testing doesn't exercise missing functionality. So if you have a missing if statement inside the code, you don't know to test it because it's not there. But the requirements might say, well, there's a special case and the if is supposed to be there, but it's not. The notion of coverage varies depending on your test strategy. For white box coverage, usually you say, my code coverage is a fraction of the code exercised in test. For example, you might say, I've been able to exercise 97% of the lines of code in my system. That's my code coverage. Black box testing also has code coverage, but it's measured differently. It's going to be measured on the fraction of requirements exercised. So I have 73 requirements and I only exercise 72. Well, that's 72 out of 73 black box coverage, which is completely independent of how many lines of code were tested. So it's important to realize, while some people think or say code coverage is only about how many lines and what fraction of lines, in fact, coverage depends on what type of test you're running. And for black box, it's about the requirements coverage, not the code coverage. There are other types of coverage depending on testing. For example, you might say the fraction of state chart arcs covered or things like that. And we'll get into that as we talk about other types of testing.